Welcome to our liberal speed date by Friedrich Naumann Foundation. Three questions, three answers. My name is Rahel Zipner and I'm very happy that Elisa de la Nuez is with us today. She's the General Secretary of Fundación Ay Derecho. Welcome, Elisa. Thank you, I'm glad to be here. Elisa, I read in your CV that you are the founder of the foundation and I wonder what inspired you and what do you hope to achieve with it? Well, uh, some years ago, uh, a group of lawyers decided that uh, we need to do something about the, the rule of law in Spain. And we started with a blog. And after five years or so, uh, we decided to, to do something else. And uh, we, we started with the foundation, which is now five years old. And our idea was to defend the rule of law, to promote transparency, fight against corruption, and uh, yes, try to, to help uh, with our activities in, in, that, in that sense. Elisa, you were mentioning uh, rule of law. So how would you view the state of rule of law in Spain right now? Uh, well, uh, I think we, we have reasons to be a little concerned about the, the rule of law in Spain right now. Uh, of course, it's not only in Spain. I think it's in the, the rest of Europe also with the pandemics. Uh, we have seen a decline on the government restrictions. Uh, the parliament is not very, or has not been very useful during the, the pandemic. In fact, uh, it has been more or less uh, closed. And uh, we got the, the state of alarm, which is really disruptive in, in, that, in that sense. And also we, we got problems with the judiciary, especially with the separation of powers. Right now, uh, uh, there has been a, a law uh, who has just been passed in the parliament, who is uh, uh, restricting uh, what the, the judiciary government can do. So I think we, we have reasons to, to be concerned about this, the state of the rule of law in Spain. And what does being a liberal mean to you? Being a liberal now, I think, uh, means to stand for liberal democracy. If you choose to be a thing that we take for, for um, a certain, and now it's not so, so much so. And stand also, okay, uh, of course, for the rule of law, for the transparency, and also, of course, for freedom. Freedom of uh, all of our rights of uh, freedom, freedom of speech, uh, freedom in every sense. But also I think we, we have to uh, be aware of the social inequality, economic inequality. So it's like a kind of things that uh, are part conservative, are part socialist or social democrats. Uh, well, it's, it's like a mixed things, but uh, I could resume it in, in being for, uh, for liberal democracy. Thank you very much for joining us in our Liberal Speed Date. Thanks. Thank you.